This tutorial was brought to you by my patrons. Thank you so much for your support. Hello there. In this video, let's make an audio library, a note that you can use as a collection of audio samples. And the final result will look like this. You can tell it to play a random effect or you can tell it to play a specific effect. And also, as you can see, you can nest the audio libraries together. By the way, as you can see, I am using uh, the pop label of the previous video for this visual feedback. So check out the card on the screen to see how you can make this pop label. So let's get started. So the first thing that you have to do is to create a node that will match the sound effect that you will use. So if it is a 3D sound effect, you can use spatial. If it's just a UI sound effect, you can use node, uh, the simple node. Or if you use a 2D sound effect, like for panning or that kind of effect, you can use a node 2D. So in my case, I will use a node 2D. I will name this for sound effect. Uh, the next thing that you want to do is to add uh, a node that will correspond to the kind of library you want to make. So in my case, it will be sample 2D, audio stream sample, sample 2D. So if you are doing a 3D audio library, you will use the audio stream player 3D. If you are doing for UI or other kind of effect, you can use the audio stream player. But I will use the audio stream player 2D and you will rename it as you want to call the sound effect. So in my case, for instance, let's call this um, hike down. I will use just hike down. Then you want to uh, drag and drop the source file. So hike down in my case. Or you can also make a audio stream random pitch. So for, do for doing this, you go to the create new resource button here, search for audio uh, random pitch, audio stream random pitch, you create an, a new one here. For the audio stream, you drag and drop the source file, so either an ODG or WAV file, and then you save it as a resource in your disk. And you can use this for your uh, node here, so drag and drop the the audio sample random pitch to this stream here. But in my case, I already have an audio library which I can use a lot of audios from there. I will go to the merge from scene uh, feature from Godot and I will go to the digital audio sound effect that I have. I will select all of these and merge them by pressing OK here. So there we have it, a lot of sound effects here. And the idea now is that whenever you tell the sound effect to play something, it will either randomly pick one of these, or we can also pass a, uh, a specific sound to, to play. So let's go to the script. So I will attach a script to it. I will call it audio library library create and here in the audio library we will make a simple function that by default it will receive a no um, sound effect but you can pass one to it so if we have a sound effect we will get the you get the node with the sound effect and play it this will make so that if you pass the file, the a string with the name of the sound effect you want to play, so in this case would be hike down, so it will go here in this node and play it. So uh, this is the, the way you can do this. And if we don't have, uh, if you don't pass the node that you want to play it, it will get a random one. So we'll call this uh, this variable and we'll go to random integer 
The way Random Eye works is that it will generate a huge <laughs> integer number, which you can get the module of the uh, the actual uh, total size that you want to to get. So uh, in this case, child count. So it will get the module of the amount of children that this node has. This is how you can get kind of like if you will try to make a rand range between zero and get child get child count. But we want an integer integer number. So this is the way you can get this, and we'll get get child c and plate so <laughs> this is it this is as simple as it is uh, so if we do have a sound effect we want to get we will get this children by its name and play it if we don't have anything so if we pass uh, a if you call this method and not pass this argument we will get a random children and to make sure that we always play this in a random way, we will generate another seed by calling the randomize function here. So now I will save this. Uh, yeah, let me save this. And just so we can have, uh, just so we can test this, I will call the function like this first. So we'll have a random one. You can see that we get random one each time, or I can pass something like hike, hike down, and don't forget you have to pass the exact number of the children, right? So, and it will always play this one. But the real cool thing about this setup this uh, architecture is that you can nest a lot of audio libraries together so let's say we want to make a an audio library with uh, the lasers uh, I will create a node to d here I'll call this lasers and I will move all of these lasers as, as children I will add an audio library to it as well so it will have the same behavior as this one here. So uh, I will make just a button so we can call this function of the play uh, display method from outside the class. So I will just uh, add a button here. I will make this play lasers sound. And I will connect the bottom up signal to the sound effect play method, passing a string extra call argument. And I will tell this to be lasers, which is the, the audio library we want to get. And by doing so, whenever we press the, the play, this button, we will go to the sound effects library, tell it to play lasers and it will go to this audio library here and tell it to play anything so it will play randomly uh, any of these sounds here so let's get started and test this yeah it works so this is it thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoy it keep developing and until the next time